Senator Christine Kangaloo is the government's nominee to serve as the seventh president of Trinidad and Tobago. On Friday, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley announced the sitting president of the Senate as their nominee. Once elected, she will be sworn into office on March 21st. Kimberly D'Souza has more. And the name that we advanced to the opposition was the person who is now sitting in the capacity of president of the Senate. And that is Senator Christine Kangaloo. Now that President of the Senate, Christine Kangaloo, has been identified as the government's nominee for the post of President of this country, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said the nomination form must be filled in and submitted by Monday. Dr. Rowley revealed that he and a couple members from the government met with opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bissessa and two members of the opposition team to discuss the government's choice. Since the opposition did not submit any names for consideration, 12 members of parliament must now sign the nomination papers for the sole candidate. After considering nominees from a wide pool of prospective candidates, Dr. Rowley said Ms. Kangaloo is the best choice for president, having served in that capacity for seven years. I am not one of those people who believe that because you have made yourself available for public service, that you have disqualified yourself from further public service. And I am not one of those who believe that because you serve in the parliament, you are the devil incarnate and you are disqualified. Although Ms. Kangaloo will become this country's second female president, Dr. Rowley made it clear his decision was not based on gender. She's not disqualified because she's going to be the second woman. We're very happy for our record in this country of recognizing women as equals. It wasn't always so. The public service and other areas Women have done extremely well in our country. And to be able to appoint one after the other, best person for the job, two women, should make us all proud. Ms. Kangaloo must vacate her post in the parliament when elected, following which a new senator will be appointed. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News. The United National Congress is strongly objecting to having a sitting politician become this country's next president. Opposition leader Kamla Pasad Bissessa, point to pair MP David Lee and opposition senator Wade Mark met with the Prime Minister and his team earlier today to discuss nominations for a presidential candidate. Mrs. Pasad Bissessa says while they have no objections to Ms. Christine Kangaloo, justice must not only be done but must be seen to be done. I am of the view that we should not have a, an active politician holding the post. I told him, give us a little time, we'll consider and we'll get back to him. We went with an open mind um, for, to get a candidate, who, a bipartisan candidate, who can you know, bring the country together, could bring some hope and empathy and compassion. Mrs. Pasad Bissessa has since hinted that the opposition has a nominee of their own and their choice for president would be revealed before Monday. To ask the Prime Minister to reconsider the nominee, and I will share with him some other persons we are talking to. I will not share those names with you today, but we'll do so tomorrow um, to put forward a nominee of our own because we cannot go to that parliament and allow that nomination to just go free.